Tonight, tributes are pouring in honoring the life of Florine Mark. The former Weight Watchers president and CEO passed away overnight. Megan Woods is live for us this evening. And Megan, she was beloved for so many reasons, done so much for our community. That's right, Karen. A fearless trailblazer, phenomenal. Those are the words that people are using to describe Florine Mark. And, you know, she was an author. She was a business leader, a role model. But most importantly, she was a mother to seven and a grandmother to many more. We spoke to her eldest daughter who says that not only is this heartbreaking, but it's unexpected. This was so sudden. It was she wasn't sick. You know, she was healthy. And it's just a shock. From the largest franchise holder of Weight Watchers International to being elected to the Women's Leadership Board at Harvard University's John F. Kennedy School of Government in 2001, the world knew Florine Mark as a trailblazer. But to Sherry Mark, she was mom. She was a force. Even with us, she was a force. And, you know, she taught us to give back. She taught us that we could do anything we wanted if we tried especially the women in our family. She was the head of the family. That's why family is flying in from all over the world to pay their respects. My sister's coming from Israel with her kids. My, we just had my mother in Israel three weeks ago. My nephew got married. He's now fighting in the IDF. He got called up in the war. We just talked to him. Um, my brother's coming from Amsterdam, my sister from Florida. And as difficult of a time this is, Sherry can smile, thinking about the conversations she had with her mother about the legacy she would leave behind. All the time, to do good, to give back, to love, love, love. That was what she said, you know, to love, 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 and just to, you know, for peace in the world. She says her mother's biggest legacy is their family and how large it is, and they will go on to do great things. Now, when we talk about her impact throughout the state and country and world, there's business leaders and state leaders, including Governor Whitmer, who have released statements sending out their condolences. You can find that on clickondetroit.com. Reporting live in Detroit, I'm Megan Woods, Local 4. We appreciate it, Megan. Thank you so much. She will be missed.